This video is a follow-up to my chroma key test video. In this video I will show the steps I used with the Sony Vegas Movie Maker 6.0 software to attain the chroma key imaging effect. I had not originally intended to make instructional videos but rather was illustrating to a small and interested group that it did not take a rocket scientist to accomplish green screen imaging. In other words, if I could do it, anyone could. But a viewer, Josh W220, left a comment suggesting that I should show how this was accomplished using the Sony software. That is a good point, and although my original purpose for this video was already accomplished, it may be of benefit to others to do a quick demonstration. These steps are specific to Sony software, but I am sure the technique is similar to other software packages. You need only consult your specific software documentation for additional instructions. This is my first video opened up in Sony Vegas Movie Maker. You will notice that the video clip showing me against the green screen is located in the top video track labeled Video Overlay. The overlay image is what we want to chroma key. We will use the chroma key technique to remove the selected color and make it transparent so that the background image can show through. The background images, either still or in motion, reside on the second video track labeled Video. On the video overlay track, you will also notice the small circle track FX icon. Effects selected using this icon will apply to all clips that are placed on the same track. If you have a mixture of clips, some using chroma key and others that do not, you would not select this icon, but rather you would select the same icon that appears at the end of each video clip that you wanted to chroma key. Since the entire track of my video will use chroma key, I selected this circled FX icon. After you select the FX icon, a plug-in chooser window will open with all of the specific FX options that can be employed. Find and select Sony Chroma Keyer. The Sony Chroma Keyer settings window will now open. It will open set up for a blue screen. You can select key colors from a drop-down menu. Listed will be blue, green, pure blue, pure green, etc. You can also save your customized color settings to your Sony software. The preferred technique is to capture your specific color background to avoid variations of tint due to camera settings and other variables. To quickly capture your specific color, select the eyedropper button that is shown circled. When you click the button, your mouse cursor will now change into an eyedropper. Move the eyedropper to the color you want to key out of your overlay image and click the left mouse button you are now keying your specific color. If you will notice the preview window, you will see that the color keying has now taken effect. You are almost finished. Now go back to the chroma keyer settings window and adjust the low and high threshold adjust sliders to get the desired results. It takes just a short time to find the optimum settings for your particular video. The blur adjust slider will smooth the sometimes jagged edges around the overlay mask image. So there you have it. It is very simple to get excellent green screen imaging results.